Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm filming a everyday makeup routine. It's been heavily asked for. I'm not really sure why because I don't really do anything special. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and so you can see my future videos and click that notification bell to be notified when I post. Apart from that, we'll get into the video. I hope you enjoy. I took this jumper on because it's just big and it's kind of cold in the UK right now. But the weather's been right weird. I'm gonna just brush my hair out. Um, it's not too bad because I brushed it before bed, but everyone's probably screaming at me because I didn't start from the bottom and I bleached my hair. Also, I need to get my roots fixed. Um, not the brown bits, actually. I just did it and they're really yellow, so. I'm just gonna tie my hair back today. Usually I put a headband on, but I really want to today, so I'll just put it back in a little ponytail. If you wonder where I'm looking, it's because I've got a mirror down here. Um, I always go off. Um, for when I'm like doing things that are close up and stuff, so that's where I'm looking. If you wondered where I'm looking, I hope you all like my new setup because I really tried like i've been trying to find out how i want to have it for so long and i finally decided how i want it and i really like it so i hope you'll like it as well first i just wipe my face with a wipe because when i'm obviously when i brush my teeth i wash my face anyway but i just like to make sure that there's literally nothing on my face like it's no oils or anything i just like it to be dry because when i moisturize that's like what i want to be on my face not anything else I just want to clear up as well. This is like my, I've, I've called it everyday makeup routine, but I do mean everyday as in like if I were actually going somewhere, um, because obviously I don't just do my makeup to sit in my room or because there's no point, it's just bad for my skin. So I only do it like if I'm actually going out, this is how I would do my makeup, like really generally if I was doing it. I'm just using the Avena moisturiser. Up next, I do my eyebrows. I don't know if this is a weird order to be doing my makeup in, but I've always done my eyebrows first, so I always just curl them upwards because I laminated them myself, but they obviously because I did it myself, they're not great. Um, but if I do brush them up, they do stay up. So, but like in the day, they'll just go down. I just get this soap. I just use the this simple soap because that's the only one I had, and I just put a bit of water on it. I just got a water bottle. Just put some water on the soap and I always put too much and then I just literally spread it out with my finger like wipe it across the soap so it's spread out everywhere and I just leave it for a few seconds until it like soaks into the soap I just get my spoolie and I just go like this on the soap and it makes like a I don't know if you can see it like a paste and then I just put that in my eyebrows I'll show you but I'm just going to do it in the mirror because it takes me a while to do how I want it to be and I literally just keep going through them until they're the shape that I want them to be and then I just go over it with my finger and flatten it out so I know it's like definitely stuck down um, and then I just do the other one this eyebrow always goes worse than the fit, that other one though because they I swear they grow like the right way and these ones just grow not how I want them to. Again, I just flatten it with my finger. Um, otherwise, it looks like I've got a bold patch there, but I am. I then take another wipe and I just go around them because when I'm spreading the soap out, it sticks to my skin and my makeup doesn't sit nice on top of it. So I just make sure that I've wiped around them. Sometimes I like pat my eyebrow so that the soap is like not clumpy and then I just re go over it with my finger so it's definitely stuck down and like because sometimes the wet of the wipe will lift my eyebrows back up so I just make sure they're stuck down again. Then I take literally any eyeshadow palette so the one I'm taking today is this more that is so dirty that I'm so sorry to see that. Um, 39A, it looks like this. Um, I'm taking this one because I use them as bronzer anyway, so I'm going to be getting it out later. I take any brown shade that will match my eyebrows with a, like an eyebrow brush, but a big one. And I literally just pat it into the 
Do you know like when you do an underline of your eyebrow? Kind of like that, but I don't do an underline. I just pat it so that the bottom of my eyebrow is fuller. I'll, I'll do one and then I'll show you what I mean. It should make sense. Um, obviously, I'm going to go around them with concealer anyway, so this bit doesn't really have to be clean. So I hope you can see the difference. Um, it doesn't look like this at the end. This is just what it looks like now. Usually I kind of get rid of the front bit because I don't like it to look really full at the front. But I've literally just, if you can tell, I've just put some eyeshadow at the bottom of my eyebrow to like fill out the bottom because my eyebrows are really sparse at the bottom. So that's literally all I do. I'll just do the other one now and then I'll come back. Now my eyebrows are all filled in, I'm just going to take a flat top brush and some concealer. I'm just going to underline my eyebrows um, on both sides. I don't, I don't go over the top because I only do that when I'm doing my eyebrows to go out and this is my everyday makeup routine. So I'm just going to, I literally just get the concealer and go like make a line. I'll try and do it like this and then you'll be able to see. rest my hand on my jaw and I just spread it down and that's pretty much I'm trying to look in the other mirror so I can see what it looks like but I just do that on my other eyebrow and then make sure that they're even and um, so I'll just do the other one and then I'll come back so now I've done both of them I like to get some extra concealer and just put it all over my eyelid because I don't use an eyeshadow base because I've tried them before and I feel like concealer does the same thing for me I don't know whether it's just because of what my eyelids are like but i just put it all over my eyelid and then i just blend it out with a sponge i use the real techniques one this one's really dirty so i'm not going to show what you like that but um i just blend it out and then after that i just set it because i like to do my eyes first if i'm doing any eyeshadow or anything which obviously i'm not today i think i'm gonna put some eyelashes on which on a usual everyday I wouldn't, but sometimes I would, so today I'm going to because I just feel like it. Then I literally used the powder puff that came with my powder and just pat it all over my eyelid because I feel like I don't like putting a lot of powder on my eyelids, but obviously I don't want it to be creasy, so I just pat this all over with like the remaining of what is already on this from yesterday when I did my makeup. That's pretty much it for my eyebrows. Next, I'm gonna move on to my eyelashes because I'm not doing any eyeshadow today. Sometimes I'll put a bit of bronzer in my crease, um, but for my eyelashes, I take an eyeliner and I just go along my lash line. I don't know if I'll be able to do this on the camera. Pretty much like that, um, just so that when I stick my eyelash on, there's not a gap. Um, I'll just do the other side. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, which I don't do a lot. And then I put some mascara on. Um, I use the number seven one. I think I showed it in my get ready with me video. I'm not sure. I don't put it on my bottom eyelashes either because my bottom eyelashes are really long. If I put mascara on them, then they go stupidly long and they start touching my cheeks so they just literally look like this uh, this mascara is really dry i need to get a new one um and today i'm going to be using doll lashes in the style jerry um because these are the ones i've been using recently literally every day and i just use chewy glue i'm going to put them on off camera because sometimes they just are a pain and so they never go on properly lashes are on they don't look do you see what I mean? Like this eyelash always looks right like it's attached and this one just... By the way, if you can still see the glue, it's because it's not dry yet. I'm just going to prime my face. I use the number seven airbrush primer. Literally just put it on my nose, on my cheeks, on my chin. Well, I'm, I'm saying I just put it there. I literally put it everywhere, but not just avoiding this area where I've already put my makeup. 
and then i just go in with my foundation today i'm gonna use the revolution one because i had tan on but it's i don't know if you can see it's coming off really patchy and i'm not sure why so i'm gonna use this one it's too light for me but it's fine once i've bronzed it's literally fine but i just paint it on my face literally with the applicator that it comes with Cause I only use it on my face anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is the shade F3. I also have the shade F11 for when I do my tan, but this is too dark for my tan, but this is the closest one they had. So um, when I've blended this out, I use that one for contour, like cream contour, because I don't, I don't actually really contour that often, but it just because i can't do actual contour i cannot do it i've tried a billion times and i literally it's like i'm incapable of doing it so i just blend all of this out and then i'll show you when i do it i really hated this foundation when i first got it because it made my face really dry because i've got the concealer as well but it made my face really dry but it doesn't anymore so i'm not really sure i'll just give it another go so yeah i just take the darker one and i just draw like a line here, a line there, and then just like a bit on the forehead. Um, and sometimes I just spread it up and put a bit on my nose as well because I don't contour my nose, but I like it to be browner because I bronze my nose anyway. Um, and then I just blend it upwards so it goes up the side of my face and then down this way. So it looks like I've contoured, but I haven't because I can't do it. Does anybody have that problem where literally no makeup will stick to your nose? Because I have it all the time um, and my makeup just won't stick to my nose. And I don't know why, it just literally, no matter what I put on my nose, it just looks like all my skin is peeling off. I'm just going to take my setting powder. I use the Illa Mask one, but it literally, it's so expensive. But I always buy it in the sale at Christmas and it lasts me all year because I only use it. Um, I literally use it under my eyes and on my nose and around my mouth. I don't put it everywhere. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to last you that long. I don't know if you're supposed to throw it away before then, but literally nobody does that. No one throws it away. Um, I just put a bit on my chin and then around my mouth like that. Everywhere else, I just use like a cheaper face powder. So I've got like a it's supposed to be a powder foundation, but it's not. It doesn't put any colour on my face, so I'm just going to use that today. On the rest of my face, I literally put it straight over the contour I've just done, so I'm going to bronze it anyway, so there's no point me doing it separately. And I just swipe away that after a few seconds. I don't like my face to be too matte, but I don't... Like I like to just go over everywhere at least a little bit so they don't look shiny. Next I'm just going to bronze, like I said I'm just using that Morphe palette with the three colours in and I just put it over where I put my fake contour up so. And I literally just spread it around and blend it out and go over my forehead without putting any extra on because there's always, I always put too much. I'm going to take some of this Anastasia Beverly Hills, oh my god I've done this so badly, blush. I'm just going to put it, I like to put my blush like around here. This is where I put my blush whenever I do my makeup so I just put it here because my face is quite pink here and if I was going out then I'll put a more full coverage foundation on and cover it up but because I'm not or well because it's my everyday makeup routine I don't bother because I don't like wearing full coverage foundation unless I'm going out and um, so yeah I literally just put that there and then I like like clear my brush if to say and I just spread it further down um, so I'm not actually putting any product on it and then I just take this Milani blush um, it's the Luminoso one I use the same brush and I just put this one on my nose because it's 
a bit shiny um, and it's less pigmented so I just put it on my nose. I'm going to use this Fenty highlighter, it's my favourite one, I've hit the pan. I just put it a bit here, a bit there with my Morphe brush that is stained by the way, I did clean it but it won't go back white because it's stained and then I put some here on my forehead. I don't know if you can even see that on the camera. And then I take a smaller brush and I put some on the end of my nose and I put some here. And then I just go on my brow bone as well. Wow, I did such a good job there. I thought I was going to put it straight in my eyebrow. I'm not going by a camera, honestly. I film my videos on the car. So I feel like when I watch other people's videos, like my camera on my phone is because I'm filming this on my phone. My camera on my phone is actually good, but like you can see everything that's in the background. And I feel like in other people's videos, it's always blurry in the background, so you can't see it. I don't mind to do that because I don't want you to be able to see all my mess. I want it to like focus on me. So yeah, that's all I do from the highlighter. And then I just take this setting spray. I use the Mac Fix Plus. I've literally not got any left, but spray it all over my face and just wait a second. And then I take my beauty blender with the end that has a big chunk out of it. Um, that I don't use and I just pat all over my face so because sometimes when I spray my fix plus it comes out in like big blobs and then I just end up with like one big massive wet patch on my face so I just go over it all to make sure it's all setting near in the end I'm gonna take a wipe I got a clean one um, and just wipe over my lips because I don't want foundation on my lips and then I take a lip gloss. Do I have a lip gloss on this? Um, I'm going to use this Kiwi blush one from Victoria's Secret. I spoke about it in my last video, if you know, because um, I got it for my birthday. Uh, watch my birthday video. It's going up. Well, it will have gone up yesterday when you're watching this. Um, and I just... Nothing too... <laughs> Nothing too complicated. I literally just put some lip gloss on. Um, it's really shiny, that's why I like it. Right, I'll change the colour of the light now because um, I've got it on like a warm toned one, so I'll change it to the whiter one. I don't know if this is better for you to see what, what it looks like in the end. I'll take my hair down as well. Um, but this is all I do for my everyday makeup. Um, I will get dressed in a second come back so you, and I'll go in the natural lighting so you can see it but this is what it looks like with everything that I've used. If you are wondering about any products just leave a comment and I'll come in back to you what they are um, instead of me. Obviously I've shown it on camera but if you are wondering what it is um, just leave a comment and I'll reply to it. I'm back and I've just styled it with this black high neck top from Zara um, because I'm going to be filming my Zara haul next. I'm pretty sure now I'm ready anyway, might as well. This is a finished look. Um, I'd probably put some earrings in or something, but that's not really part of my makeup routine, so that's fine. This is what it looks like. And I really hope that some of what I've told you today has helped anybody or if you needed any tips. If you, anything that I've not gone through, if you're wondering, please just comment it below or message me on Instagram. I'll answer, I'll get back to you about it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can see my upcoming videos. Also, you can click the notification bell to be notified when I post. Um, I'm going to be trying to post more often now because I've just started uni. I'm there two days a week and although I'm a full-time student, I'm going to be trying to fit some more time in for filming my YouTube videos and um, because I do actually enjoy filming them I just I've been like really busy recently so I had not time and obviously my birthday last weekend so I didn't really have I was going to film loads on my birthday but it was really unplanned so I didn't really get to but that's a different story anyway I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one
Bye.